Hello, guys. Hello. Um, this is a story that I wrote and I've shared it with different audiences and I hope you find it useful. It's called Personal Library. She was a guru. She was a source of a higher power. She took me by the hand and led me into a large room. On every wall were bookshelves full of books. I looked around, wondering, what is this? Is this a library? She answered, yes, it is your library, your personal library. I noticed the shelves far away had small and thin books, while the ones next to me were big, fat ones. I looked at some books. I was surprised. There are many pictures here, and I recognize most of them. She said, yes, these books are your life. Each book is a day from your life. What? I asked, thinking, this is quite weird. But where is the text? It's only pictures. This is your unconscious mind, she replied. It only sees simple pictures. Really? But there is no description feelings, judgment, reflections, or comments, I yelled. Yes, she replied, those things are your conscious mind. Things happened first, then you judged them and gave them meaning, good or negative, yet your unconscious mind can never judge. It only stores pictures. Your childhood books are thinner, grown-up days of books have more material. There are about 14,000 books. It is your very personal library. But something is weird, I said. There is no meaning. I use my conscious mind a lot, you know. She said, would you like to see a real library? This was simply a perfect version. Let me take you to another room. But beware, you might not like what you see. We walked into a humid room with a damp smell of old things. The room was very messy and, to be honest, it looked disgusting. Same bookshelves, same books, but they were covered with a lot of dust, like a house that hasn't been lived in for 20 years. Some places even had spider webs. I think that was around my childhood section. Oh my God, I screamed, what is this? Why all the dust? because you haven't used them for a while. You covered them with days and years of your negative thinking and wrong attitudes. You no longer see the pure pictures. At this point, I just stood there feeling lost. Remember when you were a child, you looked at the sun, the sea, your favorite books, dolls, you were happy. You appreciated things you had, that were right in front of you. You were happy right then, in that specific moment. Somewhere later, you decided you had to criticize yourself, to worry about future things and those in the past, and you stopped enjoying. Your unconscious mind still has those wonderful pictures, but you no longer see them. You cover them with judgment, anxiety, apprehension, fear, and uncertainty. This is the dust on the books. All the negative moments that put you further and further from what is, from the simple pictures of your experiences, which you no longer appreciate. I stared at her, not sure what to say. You see, dear, she said, situations are plain. They have no power over us. We give them power with our thoughts and attitude. For example, it's raining. One person enjoys watching the rain, another is miserable and complains about bad weather. Or you're stuck in traffic one day. You are in good mood after a pleasant day and in no hurry, so you just listen to good songs or audiobooks. Another day, again, you're stuck in traffic but you're late somewhere and mad and you're furious about it. 
situation is the same. It's traffic. Your reaction is what's different. Or say you have a slight headache, but you're going out with your friends and having fun, so you sort of forget about the headache, like it's not even there. Another day, you're bored at work, and you get a slight headache. Now you feel even worse. You concentrate on how bad you're feeling, how much your head hurts. Situation is the same. Outcome is different. Or maybe someone said something you didn't like. You are in good mood, so you brush it off. You say, whatever. Maybe they didn't mean any harm. Another day, you are moody, and they say the same thing you don't like. You dwell on it the whole day. You wonder why they said it and how it made you feel. Do you see the difference? Yes, I replied, realizing what she meant. I looked around at all the dust on my books. It would take forever to clean that up. Then suddenly in the corner, I saw a blank book without pictures. It looked clean and brand new. What is this book, I asked. That, this is my favorite book. This is today, she replied. It hasn't been written yet. Make it a fresh book with good pictures, something to look back for years to come. She smiled and vanished. <laughs>